Hi friends, welcome back to Kiani's Lab. If you are into electronics and DIY projects, this video is for you. Today we are building our very own IGBT and MOSFET tester from scratch. This is a very easy to build project made with a few simple components. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. So this is our IGBD and MOSFET tester. With this tester, we can test and channel MOSFETs and IGBDs. Let's see how to test the IGBD. The circuit can be operated from 5 volt to 12 volt power supply. Now connect the IGBD to the connector. After connecting the IGBD, if LED is not turned on, now press the push button. If LED turns on, the IGBD is good. Now test another IGBD. As you can see, after connecting the IGBT, the LED immediately turns on, which indicates the IGBT is short. Now let's see how we can make this circuit. So these are the components we are going to use to make this project. We need an LED, a push button, two 1K resistors, a 2-pin terminal block, a 3-pin terminal block, and some jumper wires. First connect the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect the 2 pin terminal block. The 2 pin terminal block is for the power supply and the 3 pin terminal block is for connecting the MOSFET. Now connect the pin number 1 of the 2 pin terminal block which is ground to the pin number 3 of the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect a push button and connect its one pin to remaining pin of the 1K resistor and its other pin to pin number 2 of the 2 pin terminal block which is going to be the positive terminal of the power supply. Now connect another 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect an LED and connect its anode to 5 volt supply and its cathode to remaining pin of the second 1K resistor. So our circuit is completed. Now let's test some IGBTs and MOSFETs. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.